All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today. And we discovered uh, some interesting stuff in the restricted area of the library in our way underground. So let's see what's going on down here. We'll cue the music and then get right to it. Alright, so if you remember the last episode, we got our butts handed to us by a bunch of dudes. Oh, damn it. Yep, same trouble. Come on. How do I... There we go. Uh, gear. We'll get rid of some of the most basic cost 30 gear. This one here? Yep, goodbye. Now we're going to sell everything else that we're not using because I do not want to run into this problem again. I think we've given up 120 gold. That's significant, right? Alright, so let's go back into the gear and make sure we're wearing the best stuff that we have. good there. I know the gloves are good. Just the one hat. This should be fine. Yep. Cloaks and robes. Let's check it out. What is this? Okay. Five. Seventeen. I don't think anything's going to beat that. Damn. Gonna give it the dark look. Let's check out the outfit. It's gonna make a significant difference in this fight, I imagine. 19 from 9. Bingo. And then we will go ahead and give that the specific look. Alright, and we're back. So yeah, that's some pretty good changes there. So let's go fight these dudes and see what's up. to us there, I'm not going to lie. It is a book after all. Of course it's a book. We're in a library, bro. Is it the Necromonicon? Interesting. Is 
Just the beginnings of Hogsmeade. What's going on here? This is weird. pretty good compared to some of the other renderings of beards. That one guy in the shop, I think it was the potion shop, or maybe the scroll one, I think he was the first one we visited in Hogsmeade, is as bad. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. Don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Okay. This is a recurring thing. Was it generational, maybe? Every other generation? Sebastian. I think we're about to get in trouble. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? He's a jerk. And who's his uncle? Hmm. Alright, well, we can creep on out of here, I reckon. This 
not Sebastian. There's so much cool stuff in here. I really want to just get to explore, and I think when we get the uh, inevitable um, broom, we're going to just go out and do some exploring around Hogwarts, as well as uh, the whole area. Revelio. So that we can see the area. Cool. I don't know what's going to happen here, but... Okay. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. Okay. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. All right. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. I'm sure I will. Do so, come and find me if you like stumble on something illuminating flame. that solves the mystery. Do I need to light this? Incendium. Apparently not. <laughs> Did I wreck it? I burned the wall. <laughs> Oh, did I just see? I think I did. Got it. That's seven. Yeah, we're gonna need the lock, uh, pick thing, a couple different things. All right, well, what are we doing here? I don't know what the secret is, and I really don't know if I want to be bothered right now. Well, I guess we can figure it out. It's probably Bound something to close the by. The empty painting soon. Let's look around this area. Do you move? You don't move. So she said something about moth to a flame, right? I bet I know what I gotta do. To find some of those moths. I've seen them in a couple spots and get them to follow me, probably using my Lumina spell or whatever it's called. Rebellion. Alright, let's see. I'm not over there. Tried to summon the pepper at dinner log. Just keep looking around a little bit. What's this person want? Oh dear, I shall get in trouble for this. Can I light that? Incendio. Oh, look at that. Cool. Razor. All right. Level ten. You know we haven't put any. Uh, skill points in yet, so we got to look at that. Let's see what that's about. Alright, whoops. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> this is freaking... Attack them both. Yeah, no malls around. Alright. We're going to continue on our merry way here for quests. And... Boom. Alright, I'm going to go talk to Professor Fig. If we see some moths along the way, we'll grab them. Revelio. Every time I hear that bell when I cast that spell, it makes me feel like there's something. Whoa. Kitty Pride here. Let's 
This must be Professor X's mansion, not Hogwarts. Even though you have stuff like that happen, little things. I, I believe, so I'm playing this on the 7th, the day it was released uh, for early release. And I believe on the 10th they've got a day one patch coming. So I don't know if it's going to address some of these weird little issues like some of the, uh, like the forehead being really dark at some situations or uh, sometimes the outline of a person or like one of those bushes is weird looking and kind of fuzzy. So hopefully the day one patch will deal with stuff like that. Get it all fixed up, you know? You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Hmm. Is he gonna be angry? Nah. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. <laughs> Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Well, damn it. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Ooh, I want to I understand. To I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. I don't know about the mask. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. We got a fight club going on already. Rebellion! Alright, so... Oh, yeah, we did a reveal on the, uh... It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Hmm. A Hamlet, okay. So we want to go to the world map. Oh, oh, I have, wow. This is big. This is a lot bigger than I thought. Damn. And that's a small communities, okay. Lower Hogsfield.
Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. All right, we're kind of in side quest hell right now. <laughs> Everybody just popped up with all these little missions and whatnot, and yeah. So let's take a look at the map. Attend a herbology class. You know what? Let's do that. I want to get the classes out of the way. I, you know, I really want to get the broom. When we get the broom, I'll head out and do some serious exploring. Inside and outside of town. Herbology should be fun. I'm guessing uh, that's going to relate to like the Mandrake Root and stuff like that. Things we can bring in the combat, have on our person. Kind of cool. Oh, but jeez, I also I gotta go. I gotta go to Hogsmeade. Uh, you know what? I'm going to Hogsmeade first. We're going to sell some stuff. So where is the clothing guy? I don't know if you can sell anything to anybody, but we're about to find out. This is the Tress Emporium. We never went in there. That is the Wizard Wear, Glider Eggs, Brood and Peck. I don't remember. Maybe we were in there. The Neep. All right, we're going to Glad Rags. And let's see what's going on there. We'll sell some stuff and we'll kind of... Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yeah. We'll kind of play around outside of town a little bit. My advice when dealing with is... Yep, there it is, Glad Rags. Here's where the infamous troll battle was. Hey, buddy. <laughs> You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Look at that boy. Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate these Novelty socks. Novelty socks at that price can't be passed up. Be thankful you have socks. I'd rather have no socks than be dancing like this. <laughs> you're not dancing. You're exercising. Father, why is he dancing? See? And you said the charms come out in the wash, but it hasn't. Known someone so dramatic, just like your father. Anyone would think you had an affliction. That's kind of funny. Has he been... Love you so. Oh, please, can't we take these socks back to Mr. Hill and get me some when normal ones? When you pay for your own socks, then you get to choose. Until then, you'll learn to be thrifty and behave. You're starting to cause a scene. <laughs> Papa, can All right, we really we're out. wash charms out of things? Don't be absurd. That All woman will say anything socks, to avoid so spending her canals. You'll have to work it out for yourself. All right, so before we do this, we're just going to go through and verify that we've got... All the best of our gear on. Gloves, yes. Face wear. Yep, headwear I'm sure is good. Neckwear we checked. Robes we just updated. Outfits. Okay, we did. We updated all that stuff. Oh, we haven't. My goodness. Leaving that at that. Wood handles. Oh, we got another handle. That's kind of nice. I'm not going to sell those. I'm going to keep those for now. Looks like we can handle a bunch of them. I don't know if they serve any purpose later on. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. But yeah, we're going to sell. It doesn't look like it's going to let us sell anything that we're wearing. So perfect. Zero. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Ninety. Okay. All right. 
Got 1600 bucks. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Will do. So in doing that, we're supposed to still retain the ability to color things in the manner in which those things were. So yeah, all those glasses I sold, there's the white mask. Cool, so yeah, we can keep that. It's kind of nice. I don't know about the mask. I'm kind of eh on the mask. We could just, yeah, let's just make it invisible and keep his face. The mask is cool and all, but it's kind of, eh, kind of goofy. Alright, what do we get new in here? We got study guide page, Zenobia's gobstones. Oh yeah, we kept those. <laughs> that was kind of mean. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it was definitely mean. What the hell her? She was a pain in the ass. Okay, oh, go down there. There we go. Over politics. Hogs me to here I come. So we're kind of leaving. We've been here. Oh, it's a lovely day. Look at the castle. This game would greatly benefit from a photo mode. Oh, oh, all right. Oh. So we can do this now. Five hundred bucks. Didn't see that coming, did you? There's one under the bridge too, so we'll go collect that. We're gonna get a whole bunch of money right now. Revelio. Okay, we're gonna Revelio our ass off. Crap. They mean to bust things up. So what's up with these things? Hey, remember, there was a couple chests in this town. Now there's one under the one bridge. Oh, that looks like one down here. Ow! Get in there. Stealth mode here. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? That one doesn't have an eyeball, but we'll open it anyway. Purple Dragon Eyed Spectacles. It's kind of neat. And they're legendary, so they're probably going to be decent, I guess. I don't know, you know, really. I was standing behind I haven't played long enough to know what good gear is and what is, and I imagine everything we're getting now is just typical early gear. As things ramp up, Rebellion. the gear's going to get uh, better and better. But I have a feeling it's going to do that rather slowly, you know, kind of like with us as we level, so...
Alright. Honey Dukes, baby. See a chest over here. Revelio. <laughs> Something going on up there. There it is. Scooby dooby doo. Psych. Another 500. Rebellion. So I'm guessing it's always going to be 500. It's been that way 100% of the time so far. We're going here now. We weren't here before. And how would one like to be styled today? Oh, there's one flying around outside. Let me go get it. Get back. Really don't want a haircut right now. Bam. Rebellion. Uh. Uh. Alright, so it looks like there's one behind the desk in here. Or the counter, whatever. Oh, hello. And how would one like to be styled today? Well, we would like... Yeah, we don't want anything, really. Got an asylum mask, though. That's kind of cool. Is there anything else in here? A little bag? Freaking two gold. Rebellion. It's not this bridge, and it's the other one. <laughs> Thought it could explode pumpkins, but nope. Seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Well, this is where we came intentionally, so you know. Um, yeah, let's make our way out of town. Really wasn't paying attention there, but you know, good thing we can swim. Gotta love the mechanic back in the day Rebellion. when uh, you'd hit water and you would just die instantly. <laughs> it was like the goofiest thing. Revelio. Well, we got a couple thousand uh, gold running around doing this. That's solid. No idea when we're going to. Oh, I okay, can't climb that. Um, get the broom. I imagine it's coming up, though. The story can only go on so long before we need to travel a little bit. At least I would think, you know? Uh, let's see what's up here. Well. Rebellion. Okay. Celtic cape. And Wigan Weld potion. 
We've got four of those all together. A little bit of ancient magic built up, but not much. see what's up here now. We will head over to that water mill afterward. Oh, I think we were here, right? Yeah, this is where Hogsmeade, here I come. That lady lives on her own. Revelio. Dog wheaten death cat. We're not gonna mess around with that right now. And this is all collapsed, right? Yeah. That's definitely sealed off. We are not going to be allowed in there. Ooh, we can get lightning bugs. Bingo. I imagine those things replenish themselves after a while. See, that looks like something we should pick. More water. Balloons up ahead. Leviosa. Floating cat. I love it because they run away afterward. Cat's like, what? <laughs> Is he going in the water? <laughs> we went off a cliff. <laughs> oh. Whoa. I almost went off. Can't blow up pumpkins. That's just. I'm taking this game back. Let me It's gonna make some fried chicken. This must be a crapper. But they just didn't want to put the crapper in it. Hello, goat. <laughs> All the animals run off after you levitate them. I love it. Okay, this looks. Ah, but if you don't fill up so much, you can interesting actually go area. further. It's true. Eat a big meal, you'll be slowed down, baby. Light, and you'll be swift. <laughs> but who wants Rebellion. to be So we got a couple bad guys here. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. No! Hogwarts teach you nothing about dueling. Levioso. Accio. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. All right, so we had a random encounter with some uh, goblins. Did all right. Didn't get touched. Let me also. Accio. Hmm. Oh, light a fire, okay. Well, that looked like a chest, didn't it? Revelio. Yeah, I wonder if there's any goodies here. We're gonna just kinda check this out a little bit. We'll burn out looking fortress or fort or something here. A castle. Must have been quite stately in his time. Jeez. Oh, I don't even think I want to get into that right now. Let's look around outside first, and we'll come back to that. Let me also. So 
to find a way in, like, Assassin's Creed style here. Oh, got a bag. Fur line cap. Looks like we're getting some stuff that's better than what we're using, which is interesting. Um, and that seems to be consistent in this game. Like, you're... Whoa. Yeah, well, constantly nickel and dime in your armor. With uh. minor upgrades, you know. Uh. Now, some of those have been significant, like 10 points and all that, but a lot of them... Yeah, a lot of them have been like one or two, stuff like that, not much. But if you upgrade five pieces with two armor, that's ten. Some more of those dudes. Oh, we got some random vendor out here? Well, this can prove to be interesting. Hello, random vendor. Hello. In a black car. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye. Let me know if you see something you like. All right, let's see what, what he do you has. Have for sale. See if there's something you need. Moonstone we get, Mallow Sweet leaves we haven't gotten yet. No Dittany leaves either, but we got Dittany seeds. Chinese chopping cabbage. Oh, look at it. We got thirty-six hundred bucks. Edder's potion. Mandrake. I imagine we're going to be growing all that stuff. It's only 100 for Wig and Weld, but we got like four of them. That's been a pleasure. I think we'll be all right, can I? Let me open. Oh my god, I can. That's hilarious. He fell over. <laughs> Revelio. I'm getting lots of those things. Alright, well, I did want to do a little exploring. Um, I kind of want to wait to. I, 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 I kind of wanted to wait until I got my broom, but you know that's okay. We did a little bit now, so we're gonna go back up here where we had. What is that? It's a scarecrow. Is this the spot? I don't think this is. Like it's just a normal little house or something. Ugh. It's kind of foggy here. Kind of scary. Alright, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Hogwarts Legacy. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Ball. Thanks for joining me on this magical adventure. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you, uh, you know, want to see what when the next video comes up, go ahead and hit that uh, bell. It'll give you a notification. There it is. I'll meet you guys over there in the next episode.